Welcome to Film Study 101. I got a free play in here. Let's get right on into it. Uh, my face won't be in it because TikTok won't allow me. TikTok YouTube uh, won't allow me. So it will be just videos with my voiceover. We'll be just talking some football. I've got one play in particular that I do believe I will be hammering down this weekend. I've already got a good so a little bet on it. Might go in for more. More than likely going to go in for more. Stick around. Let's watch it. Let's get into it. First things first, I'll go ahead and give you a Friday night free play. NFL, college football, they've been on a heater. Light one, let's get into it. Yesterday's top play of the day in college football, Arizona State. Plus two and a half. Bada bing, bada boom, also got them live. Also live in the money line. Top NFL play, it's the Buffalo Bills. Talk about a no sweat. Even the minus nine and a half was a no sweat. On an absolute heater, premium content's all available. I've got a couple of special deals up. I've got a buy one, get one free. Uh, two weeks of NFL, NCAA football. It's up on the site. I also have a package through Halloween, and I also have my regular season. All BOGO, buy NFL, get NCAA football for free. Smashing it right now, and we'll look to keep that going. Uh, and we'll get into the film study now. All premium content is available. The link's in the bio, link's in the comments. Check it out. All right, right from the rip. All I want you to look at is pass protection. This is the Bucks versus the Commanders. In particular, we're looking at the Commanders pass rush. Look at that pocket. Beautiful, easy pass. Next one. Give me some more of that. Watch the secondary. Burnt. Had to hold him. That was a touchdown to Jalen McMillan. Jalen McMillan could have scored three touchdowns in this one, as you'll see in this video. He did score one. I've got some other ones. Watch. Beat. There was no team in football in week one who had a worse secondary than the Commanders. When you combine that with a mediocre pass rush, that's why the Bucks absolutely shredded the Commanders all game long. Watch him here. Great pocket. Easy. Quick throw. This is the stuff we're looking for. Here you go. A little more. Look at this. My goodness gracious sakes alive. No defense whatsoever. Jalen McMillan touchdown. Watch the pocket. This one's got a little bit of pressure, but once again, five-man pressure, six-man block. Gives them time. Plenty of time. Look at that pocket. Coverage breakdown. Touchdown. Here we go again. This one's a run play. Watch the holes that are open up on this run. It was all game long. Bucky Irving, Rashad White, they didn't get touched five, six yards down the field countless times. Watch this hole here. I mean, I'm getting seven. All right, run it back again. What do we got here? Just unbelievable pocket again. A little play action, wide open to the sidelines all day long. Four-man pressure, five-man pressure, it really doesn't matter. Four-man pressure, look at them all day. Easy throw to the sideline, first down. Let's see what we got here. All right, six men, seven men on the line of scrimmage. Five-man rush on the, uh, I mean, just all day long. Baker makes a nice move there, ends up making the throw. But, I mean, look, just look at it. Unbelievable. You're talking about a five-man pressure and they get nothing? Here we go again. Four on the line, no blitz, minimal pressure. They get a little bit around the outside there for sure, but here we go again. I mean, it was all game long. Now, I won't continue to show all of them, but look, this is one thing that I wanted to show here. Screen, defense, and tackling. There were none of it. Here we go again. This one's an incomplete pass, but watch the pocket. Watch what he's working with here. You give an NFL quarterback this kind of time with that kind of secondary, you're going to get shredded. I don't care who is playing quarterback. Look at the pocket. Beautiful. Five-man rush, no problem. Sure, it's an incomplete pass. About the process, not the result sometimes. Here we go again. Oh, my goodness gracious. Another run right up the middle. Watch him. Watch the hole that opens up. The defensive line has no discipline. 
they kept all game long just running right through the holes that the Bucks opened up. And this is stuff that the Giants are going to see. Look, that is just easy seven, eight yard gain there. It happened all game long. Another one. I mean, this one's a strong run here. He gets it through a little arm tackle. But that's something that you see all game. The commander struggled with tackling. They struggled in the run game. They struggled on the screen game. There was not a single area where they didn't struggle. Just chunk play, chunk play, chunk play. All right. Now we get to change it up here. We'll go with a little curveball. So now you might be able to see where I'm going. This is the Giants. Watch the difference here. Yes, the Bucks offensive line is better than the Giants. The Giants have a lot of new pieces moving around, and it takes time to adjust. But Brian Flores and this defensive line pass rush was all over Daniel Jones all game long. While Daniel Jones is not a good quarterback, he's decent. He's not good. When you give it this kind of pressure, of course he's going to suck. Look at him. Look at the run defense. The Vikings run defense was phenomenal. They made the Giants one-dimensional. And when you make a team that's decent, one-dimensional, shoo. All right, now here you go. Here's an example. You give a decent quarterback time in the pocket, and he's going to make the throw. Watch this here. Six on the line of scrimmage. Drop off a couple into coverage. Heavy put. They pick up the blitz. Finds the guy. Good ball. 20-yard gain all day long. That was about the only time they gave him time to throw all day long. Here we go again. Screen play. Notice the difference in the Washington Redskins tackling. Commanders, whatever. Watch this pursuit to the ball. Brian Flores had these guys on their A game. They were hitting. They were running. They were all over the field. How do you expect Daniel Jones to do anything? Watch this. Watch this right here. Off the left side on the screen. Just unblock, untouched. He's got an open receiver. I mean, maybe you got to make the throw, but that is, you're under just duress. All right, we're running it back one more time. Here we go again. Receiver wide open in the middle of the field, and watch this pass rush. With a four-man pressure, the center, I mean, just right down the middle. Who do you expect to throw the ball? I don't care who you are. That is tough. This is an example here of a damn good ball by Daniel Jones. He threw a couple good ones. You know, it, was, it wasn't promising by any means. But when he had time, he put some balls on the money. Watch this. Five-man pressure, a little bit of pocket, steps up, throws an absolute dime in there. Where am I going with this? We're taking the freaking Giants. But watch, again, I mean, just unbelievable. You try to set up a screen, watch the pass rush on, here on this one. Just disgusting Absolutely disgusting. Just, I, uh, pfft, come on. What do you expect him to do? Now I was wrong on the Giants last week. Brian Flores was all in Daniel Jones' ass. This defense was phenomenal. And here's another one. I mean, it was all game long, just free rushers. You have to imagine that. So this was like the Giants' second time, the first real game ever playing together against one of the most dynamic um, and confusing pass rushers in all of football. Brian Flores is one of the best to ever do it, in my opinion, especially bringing blitzes. And all game long, it was the same thing. Here we go again. Let's see what we got here. All right, four-man pressure. Who knows with Brian Flores, though. Decent little pocket. Throws the ball over the middle. Good ball. First down. Daniel Jones has hope. This team, this offensive line, just needs time to work together. They need a little film study, just like this. And there we go again. I mean, you got receivers open, but no time. It's all game long. Now, I'm done talking about this. We are taking the Giants on with the points, plus one and a half. Uh, I got them at two earlier in the week, but I'll be taking them again at one and a half. You just watch this all game long. There could not be... A bigger difference in defense's face, you know, between the Vikings, who had number one um, drop back EPA per drop back on defense, versus the Commanders, who were dead last. Number one versus number 32. Yes. All right, and back to the original picture here. So if you look at the top, number one defensive EPA versus pass, the Vikings at the very bottom is the Commanders. It matters who you play, absolutely, but the defenses could not be more different. Let's go, G-Men. Put it on them.